Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD Repair Center and today we have a Xiaomi Black Shark 4, a gaming smartphone that opens up like a book. No, it's not. It's broken. Let's fix it. First thing we're gonna do is try to figure out what happened to this smartphone and how come this this is still turning on even with in this condition. You can see there, the screen is showing us something. It's still attached though. So first thing we're gonna do is to open up the device and remove the screen for good. Well, we know that it's still turning on, so no issues with that diagnosis. I'm going to remove the back cover first. We can cut off the cable or the yeah, the flex cable from the display that is routed to the back connector, but it's not good practice. We're going to do it the right way. And once the back cover is removed, we're going to remove the cover for the daughter board. This is where the connector for that front display is located right on the right corner so we're gonna remove some boards I'm gonna lift up some connectors that are attached to it here is the connector and then we can slowly remove the display you can see that the frame is also coming off we're gonna remove that one we're gonna reuse that because the replacement display doesn't come with its own frame so the frame attaches to the housing and on top of the frame is the replacement display so we're gonna clean this up really nicely remove the old adhesive and gunk and right here we have a problem a bent corner on the frame itself it's made up of metal, it's an aluminum. So we're gonna grind it out to make it open. It's gonna make a mess, so we're gonna brush it off. Metal shavings from this operation is also dangerous, so if you don't know what you're doing, don't attempt this kind of operation, especially with a drill of some sort. So this is our replacement display. We're just gonna see if it's gonna fit on the housing. All the corners are doing pretty nicely. We're gonna connect it. We're gonna test it first. And I believe we haven't really shut down the device, so I'm not gonna be surprised if it's gonna show us something on the display right away. shut down maybe we have removed the connector for the battery the screen is showing something but it's quite dim the power menus are up and the black shark logo is on display it's 18% 19% it's charging it's kind of glitchy right now Maybe because of the power saving mode. I'm not sure, but we it could use a bit of a lift up on the brightness of the display. Cameras, that's David there, but we can't really see you, David. I'm gonna increase the brightness, and there you go. There you go. I think all the apps and the services are already loaded up. That's why it's kind of snappy this stage. I'm going to properly shut down the device and remove the connector for the display. I'm going to remove that because we are going to fix the issue with the screen frame. So we're going to put our liquid adhesive on the housing. 
make sure we have enough to hold on to the frame not too much that it's gonna make a mess because we are gonna put another layer of adhesive for the display itself so the case with the smartphone I believe um, I suspect that the owner has planned to open the device and perform a DIY repair and then so somehow failed to complete the repair and with this kind of damage maybe that's what happened so if you're not ready to take on smartphone repairs or screen replacement then maybe you can give your local repair service technician a shot or you can go to Sydney CBD Repair Center where we have experts on these kinds of procedures and who will do a great job of replacing the display in a safe manner. We have installed the screen with adhesive so it's going to be the final final reassembly of all the components. We're going to put them back in, connect everything, screw in the screws securely and give it back to the client. So even if you have a not so popular model of Xiaomi or Chinese smartphone, David can still fix it for you. Just go to our page, our Facebook page or to Google Maps. We have a lot of reviews there. We also upload repair videos every day that you can watch if you're interested in doing your own repairs. Maybe you can learn a thing or two on specific models that you want to focus on. But here, David has shown us that a Black Shark 4 is relatively easy to fix with the proper tools and parts. So I think that's it. We're just going to close it up and return it to the client and they'll be happy to game with their smartphone again. So thanks for joining guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Cheers. If you want your smartphone fixed for a very reasonable price, you may contact Sydney CBD Repair Center. We also provide mail-in repair services for customers outside of Australia or Sydney. Just message us so we can arrange the shipping of your device.